People who shove their school papers in their backpack with no binder folder etc. Where are you now, wildland firefighter? Don't really have to put any papers in my bag anymore. Though I do subscribe to the stuff your tent in the bag strategy over folding it. Last one out fills a shter hole. I feel bad for the last guy who has to poop that much. That's actually how you are supposed to do it. Folding it up makes creases where it will rip early. Well this is the best news I've heard in a while. Now I'm not lazy. I'm educated. This guy knows. Lost in a sea of overwhelming guilt for my lost exam papers from 6 years ago. Thanks for the A, professor. Shoving papers in my laptop bag tool bag desk drawer. Snacks in there underneath those papers. Dude, snacks always come out when the papers go in. Go paperless whenever I can. Take a picture of document and email to myself. Anything that's important and must be kept. Tax documents. I have a small little crate in my garage and I throw all the docs in there when I need to sift through the docs it can sometimes suck. I run a program that helps pay for low income people to be screened for cancer. My desk looks like a refined disaster but I know where everything is. I'm a doctor so now I just shove them in my white coat instead. Same. I wear the man fit lab coat even through I'm a woman because Evil Core decided women's fitted lab coats had to have smaller pockets. It's so you don't forget to buy your doctor purse. I'm working on a sweet potato farm, like, a potato farm that has a sick setup, or like, a farm wherein you grow relatives to yams, it's a general farm with a sick setup that photographs poorly. Bro this potato farm is effin sweet bradge. do you have to make do with just haphazardly stuffing sweet potatoes in your backpack instead of papers now? Stuff them in the ground, dig them up, stuff them in sack. As opposed to a boring a potato farm, I gotta get me some a potatoes. They sound in delicious. Decent office job. I no longer shove my papers into a backpack. That's what my desk drawers are for. I prefer the important bin. I skip the backpack and trash everything I don't need immediately. My desk is scattered with papers and random stuff but no one cares cause I bring in that revenue baby. That's what they don't teach you in school. P much. I know where all my shiz in that chaotic pile of papers and that's what matters. Same. My office desk drawers are filled with papers that are organized. Yes. Still looking for my homework from 5th grade. I stopped looking for my homework after the teacher turned her back. I knew I didn't do it. I was just trying to milk a little pity out of the situation. I've got pity Greg. Can you milk me? I got out of a ticket this way once. I jumped the subway turnstiles and got ticket checked at my stop, pulled a handful of old tickets out of my purse and acted like it was lost in them. Fourth over here. Still trying to get my sh together, but this time in a more professional environment. Get your sh, put it in a backpack, so it's together. Get your sh together summer. Now I'm a teacher who shoves his papers in his bag with no binder folder. I always buy these nice binders which I carefully organize with different colors at the beginning of each school year. By the end of September I'm back to the good old fashioned chaos. Same. Except not a teacher. I am a living illustration of entropy. You should nickname yourself S. You have not yet discovered accordion folders. Like these HTTPS. www. Dot staples dot com accordion folders cat cl 220757 just dump your shin there no binder opening required looks organized as hell can confirm for ninth grade i dropped the binder and started using these these are great i teach as well my desk is usually a mess i've got an easy sitem for kids turning in and collecting work Neat freaks drive me nuts about how superior they feel they are because they are neat and organized. Ted Bundy was organized. Hitler was neat. Albert Einstein and Abraham Lincoln had messy desks. If a cluttered desk is a sign of a cluttered mind, of what, then, is an empty desk a sign? Albert Einstein, disorganized first grade teacher here thanks for restoring my faith in myself. I always feel like a hot damn mess because I cannot get organized for the life of me. An engineer, still shoving my papers into a backpack. Same. An engineer, my desk is also cluttered with loose papers and pens. There was a post that asked people who used different colored pens where they were. A lot of them were med students. Here, yeah. engineers take the spotlight, but not in the same way. Yep, still doing the same sh. I just moved after 15 years and was going through an old backpack and found an expired check for a few grand. 
kinda stung a little. Didn't mention it to the wife. I wish I could afford to just casually shove a check for a few grand in a backpack and forget about it. In college studying engineering. Still shoving my papers into a backpack. Same. Life isn't about conforming. It's about learning what works best for you. This is going to sound like some cliche. But I actually made myself do a neat and organized filing system a few years back and I could never find anything. I went back to my own filing system which was just, yeah stacks of papers randomly a lot of times but I can find where things are. I'm living with a very organized woman and it's a pretty middle class suburban life. I got through school fine. My life changed when I got diagnosed with that hit as an adult and started taking meds. It slipped under the radar BC my performance was high. I'm making an appointment for testing next month when I get my new insurance. Girls frequently get missies because they are less hyperactive and more daydreamy. I just read this book delivered from distraction and had to get a highlighter for everything that pertained to me. I lost the highlighter three different times so there are multiple colors. I switched to a pen. I actually haven't finished it. I'm better at reading fiction. I did well in high school but not so much in college. We'll see. If you even slightly suspect ADHD go read that book. I'm a guy. But I have the daydreamy type of ADD as well. No one ever suspected because I wasn't hyperactive. Like you said, instead of running around I fidget quietly or daydream. You know when you finish reading a page, but realize you didn't actually pay attention to any of it and have to start over? That's how I felt all the time. Getting started on meds was life changing for me. I'm sure whatever treatment path you decide to explore will be very helpful. Good luck. I can see the ADHD in this comment alone. Happened to me too when I started law school at 50. Started taking meds. And all kinds of stuff getting done that had been sitting for years. I am curious. How did you both started the process of being diagnosed? What was the trigger? I am a web programmer. It's funny because my code tends to be very clean and well documented. My files are always very organized. 2. Digital organization is really easy for me. But as soon as paper is involved everything goes to hell. Same. When I played Fallout 4, I had this elaborate organization system for my resources that I spent hours maintaining and fully enjoying every second. I hate organizing physical objects so much. If I could do it via Pip-Boy, I'd be the next Marie Kondo. This does not spark joy. Blows up Megaton. A guy in my high school did this. He now has a PhD in astrophysics. I'm recovering from addiction to meth and alcohol. One year clean woohoo. Congrats. I won't wit. To be fair, I would not buy without your titties. Either. I will not drink with you tonight, friend. I'm living on my own in a nice apartment still shoving anything I want into whatever I want. I toast bread three slices to a slot I park my motorcycle on the line between cars in the parking lot I eat clementines whole and spit out the peel bit by bit my computer desktop is packed with icons on the smallest size possible I flush my toilet once a week. I listen to two podcasts at once, both at 2x speed my closet is a pile of clothes roughly organized from big to small. This comment was a wild ride. A relatable wild ride. I flush my toilet once a week. What the f? I'm still not over the toast. The only logical explanation is that this person lives by Fitz Brown. Flush it down and only shess once a week. Wow I just saw what a true chaotic neutral is. I think at the toilet part it crossed into chaotic evil. E-F-F-I-C-I-E-N-C-Y. Two podcast at once 2x speed ha ha wtf lol ha ha ha. One podcast per ear my man. Just reading this made me want to bath with anxiety. My computer desktop is packed with icons on the smallest size possible. See, that's what teachers could never understand. I don't need your organization. Man, it's all digital these days. It's all right at my fingertips. I want to die, thanks. I park my motorcycle on the line between cars in the parking lot. Triggered me. Not great, my dude. Not great, great. Now I am extra worried for my 16 yo. I buy binders and folders for him every year. What's wrong with the ones he didn't use last year? Worry about him in general sure. But don't worry about the binders specifically. If he's anything like me, there's nothing remotely reasonable you can do to get him to use them. If he's very much like me, he is pretty smart and that allows the no binder thing etc. to work perfectly fine. However at some point in his 20s he'll realize that yes. 
Obviously he has ADHD and working on it early instead of waiting for it to cause real problems in his life was stupid. Life would have been much easier. If you're scared about ADHD medication changing you like I was, it doesn't. You're still you. Just better at doing what you want to do. It changes I'll do it sometime to maybe I should just go ahead and do it. It gives you a bit of motivation to actually start, and a bit of focus to keep doing it. But probably still not someone who's going to actually use a planner. At least that's what it did for me. And the majority, I believe, of others like us. I put mine neatly in folders and everything and I'm still not great. I still organize my entire life and I have no idea what's going on. F. Holy she got me laughing so hard. Director at a company of a highly regulated industry. An extra refute to Megan Rice. My 8th grade science teacher. Who said I wouldn't amount to anything? Trucking? Medical devices? The army. Still shoving things in my backpack. Only now it's a camouflage backpack. Did you laugh at the guys who tried to roll their sleeping bags in BCT while you happily stuffed it into the stuff sack? Emergency and intensive care doctor. Still have a slightly chaotic core. Once ignored a chest infection in myself for so long. I ended up as a patient on my own IQ, then had to have a little light thoracic surgery. I am now engaged to a man whose college nickname was Captain Sensible. He tells me when I am ill. He has no medical qualifications. Sensible bastard. A little light thoracic surgery. HMM. What a light-hearted way to describe very serious illness. If this isn't a post full of true love, I don't know what is. Artist. Disorganized. But doing it full time. On medication for ADHD currently in college with my notes nice and organized. A very disorganized grad student. A copywriter, still doing this out of spite, who's in prison now. MR, Kennedy, you dinosaur, you have stories to tell. Sorry for the weight lol. In high school I had a really sh teacher who would say that the people who shoved all their papers in their bags were the kind of people he'd read about in the paper. Druggies. Criminals. People who made bad decisions. Anyways, I was the guy with a bag full of miscellaneous papers and he would consistently point me out to everyone in class, and how I'm destined for bad things. This thread just reminded me how much I hated him and his class. I have a decent job that lets me do what I'm passionate about and have yet to, knock on wood, go to prison. But, heard through the grapevine he got arrested for tax fraud or something white collar. Not sure if he actually went to prison or anything. But I like to think that I hold it. Faculty of Medicine. How's your handwriting? Like showing words in a backpack. Engineering student and I still shove papers in my backpack and use them in a bonfire once the semester is over. I filled my backpack pretty quickly. So I used to walk around school with two shopping bags full of miscellaneous unsorted papers. I'm pretty successful and working in research now. I haven't used paper accords for work in years. I still shove all of my important papers into a big plastic box, so I have to dig through the mess every year when I do my taxes. When the box gets full, I shove it in the closet and buy a new box. Lol now that's pretty nutty. I like it. Anyone else folded a stack of papers and kept it in the pants pocket? 2x college dropout and single parent. I guess you can say I never learned to put a protective cover on things before shoving places. Software engineer. I think this is the first time I've ever seen an admin post with their flair in a thread that wasn't specifically related to Reddit itself. Same. This explains why Reddit is a mess haha lol got em lol. Whoa. This post nearly gave me a panic. The red username letters is legit scary. Ask Reddit moderator. Medical doctor. Don't shove papers inside the patients. Doing coke off a hookers a. Eh? This thread is more inspirational than I would have thought. Working in it and I have folders upon folders filled with unnamed Dixel files book 1, book 2, book 3 up. I got diagnosed ADD, went to college, got into a super competitive nursing program, graduated magna cum laude, and now I'm in school for my masters, and now I can shove my papers in two drawers. I got diagnosed ADD graduated magna cum laude, you don't say. Phone, no case. Using cloud services like OneNote so I'm paper free. I'm CEO of my own startup. Still at high school. Still doing that. But I already got admitted to university and if my grades don't drop, I'll get an 80% discount scholarship. 
I'm a CEO billionaire thank you very much. Can I have 0.1% of your income today please? They not rich in money. Think they were talking about their cells.